Governor Wolf has a plan to help financially support families in the Commonwealth who are struggling from COVID and inflation. He visited the Poconos today to renew his call for the General Assembly to pass his plan to send $2,000 checks to Pennsylvania households. 2822 Eyewitness News reporter Sydney Costas is live with us in Stroudsburg with more on his visit. Good evening, Sydney. Good evening. Today, Governor Wolf called on PA's General Assembly to pass legislation that would put $2,000 in the pockets of Pennsylvanians. Right now, Pennsylvanians are hurting. I mean, we just came through two years of a pandemic, but now we're coming out of it and, and we're in the middle of inflation. Prices are rising. Governor Tom Wolf visited the Pocono Family YMCA today in Stroudsburg, calling on PA's General Assembly to pass legislation for the $500 million PA Opportunity Program, funded by the American Rescue Plan Act. It would send $2,000 checks to Pennsylvania households with an income of $80,000 or less. Basically, it's $2,000 to do whatever you want, uh, because right now you need the money. The Commonwealth does not. The governor explained the Commonwealth is sitting on more than $2 billion in the federal ARP Act. That remains without a plan and uncommitted. If the money is not used by December of 2024, it will be sent back to the federal government. Governor Wolf calls the plans a short-term solution. He believes that his push to raise the state's $7.25 minimum wage is the right way, providing long-term benefits. We want to put $2,000 in the pockets of Pennsylvanians right now. Yes, this, unlike the minimum wage, is a one-time fix, but it's $2,000 right now when Pennsylvanians need it. State Representative Maureen Madden joined the governor at the event. She says they're going to act quick on this because it's budget time and there are billions of dollars to be negotiated on. I don't see through the spirit of cooperation with the governor's office and our leadership in the Democratic Party, we can't reach across the aisle and really impart on our colleagues on the other side of the aisle how this money being put into the pockets of Pennsylvanians will help in a truly meaningful way. I asked the governor if he talked with other governors about passing similar legislation. He told me he believes he's the only one pushing for it. Nick, Paula. Thank you, Sydney.